What's going on, everybody? We're going to be taking a look at the brand new ISO submachine gun, and we're going to give you guys the best class setup for it, just showing you how to create the best class setup for it. This functions a lot like the MP5, so this is going to be a very, very good gun to use. I think you guys are definitely going to enjoy it. If you guys are enjoy this video, slap a like on it, subscribe those notes turned on, make sure you guys comment down below. That being said, let's get into it. So the first thing is here is that this is actually going to be a little bit like the MP5 and also the Fennec, where you can basically almost forego running a muzzle attachment because there's actually a built-in integral suppressor within the other one. So I'd normally say run the monolithic, but honestly, we're just not going to run the monolithic or really any sort of muzzle at all because we're going to go over here to the barrel and we're actually going to go right down here basically to the FSS Nightshade, which is a monolithic integral suppressor and that gives you damage range, recoil control, bullet velocity, and sound suppression. Basically all the stuff you really need and it does exchange that for a bit of mobility and inbound sight speed, but honestly, we can kind of make up for that here in just a little bit. So I'd go ahead and throw that on is our first attachment. And plus this thing just looks crazy awesome with that. So next up here, we're gonna go down to our under barrel and we have a variety of attachments here, but much like the MP5, you can throw on, let's say like the Merc foregrip, or if you really want to, you can throw on, let's say the commando foregrip. For this option right here, we're actually gonna take the commando just because I think that's a, a very good, you know, um, under barrel to run with this gun. It seems to function very well to recoil. Next up, we're gonna take a look at the magazine. I always run an extended clip on my guns. So we have the 30 and then the 50 round. But if me personally, like if I'm going to have a lot of rounds in the magazine, I'm just going straight for the 50 round magazine. So we're going to have to go ahead and take the 50 round drum. And this just looks incredibly awesome, you know, as is. And granted, we're making a bit of a slower type of build right now. We're still definitely going to make up for that. So next up here, because we basically don't have to use a muzzle attachment, we can go over here to our rear grip. And now we have the option to throw on, let's say, something like the FTAC Elite ISO grip, which gives us aimed on sight speed and sprint to fire speed, which is really, really good. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that on there, which is definitely gonna help out with our slower sort of mobility build that we have right now. And basically that leaves us with one final attachment to choose from. So let's say we could throw on something like the 5MW laser, which increased our hip fire accuracy and our sprint to uh, fire speed, or we can necessarily go over here to our stock and we can throw on something like maybe the FTAC Vagrant, or if you really, really want to, you can go down to the ISO Collapsible and you can try that out, but that is gonna give you a huge increase in movement speed and aim down sight speed, but if you think the recoil is a little bit too much, we're gonna go with something that would be basically suited for all people, which is gonna be the FTAC uh, Vagrant, and that basically is going to be an incredibly good class setup to be able to run. Like I said, you can take that off and maybe run the collapsible, or you can throw it on the 5MW laser. It's basically personal preference uh, for you up, you know, up until this point. This is an incredibly good class setup to be able to run on the ISO submachine gun. I mean, this thing is an absolute tank. You know, both these new DLC weapons are great. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys slap a like on it, subscribe, those notifications turn on, comment down below, and I'll see you guys back here again in a new video very, very soon. Just a triple cap, don't be Randy, and I'm out.